Hi and welcome to UiPath with Yebe. In this one we're going to talk about not programming but about tools and specifically we're going to talk about whether or not you are qualified to use UiPath for free. So this is a question I've been asking myself and other people for a while now. Can you use UiPath for free? And not so long ago a fellow YouTuber, Anders Jensen, who I'm sure you know, did a live session with Guy Kirkwood, who is one of the sort of global evangelists within UiPath. And he said in the video that small companies can use UiPath for free forever. And that inspired me to dig a little deeper. And then I saw a video by someone called Camilo Duerte, who also touched on the subject. I looked into the terms and conditions. And so I thought I would share the information that I found with you. I'm also going to talk about how much stuff do you actually get in the community edition, which is what the free version is called. And we'll go through that as well. So let's get to it. So I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Who qualifies for Community Edition and who doesn't? Well, if you are an individual or small team, you qualify. And if you're a large team, you don't. And of course, there are some criteria for when you are an individual or small team. Any organization with less than 250 virtual or physical PCs can be considered a small team. So you could have a company with 100 employees each with their own workstation, and you would still qualify under this criteria. Now you also need to be an organization with less than the equivalent of 5 million US dollars in yearly revenue. If you exceed that, then you're disqualified. So both of these two criteria need to be met. And of course, on the individual level, any individual who's not a part of a larger organization could be considered a small team or, of course, an individual. You cannot in a large organization. Let's say you are a company of 500 people, each with their own workstation, and $100 million in revenue. You cannot single out a group of people or one individual and say, this is an organization in its own right. They or he or she is part of the larger organization and thereby they are disqualified. But less than 250 PCs, less than 5 million US dollars in yearly revenue, then you qualify to use the community edition and it is completely free forever. And these are the words of Guy Kirkwood, so blame him if I am mistaken. So who is then a large team? Well, anyone who is not one of those. That's it. It's really that simple. So let's move on to the next slide and see what you can get for free. You get access to Studio, Studio Pro and Studio X. And those are the main development tools for UiPath automations. And you get two named licenses. And you can use those as you wish. You can have one Studio and one Studio X one studio, one studio pro, you can mix those in whatever fashion you want. With those two licenses come also an attended robot for each of those two named licenses. And as you might know, an attended robot is an execution engine, including the UiPath assistant that you can run on a local workstation. So attended robots are typically robots that are triggered by a user taking action to trigger that robot. You also get one unattended robot license, and that would run on a server or a PC that is dedicated to running automations. Those can run 24-7, 365. And with one unattended robot license, you can really get a long way for no money at all. You also get one testing robot if you want to develop test cases in UiPath Studio. But you do not get an AI robot. AI robots are used for the machine learning features in UiPath, such as training and using machine learning models. And you do not get that with the Community Edition. I would say you can do without those for quite a while. But if you need machine learning, you do need to get an enterprise license. Now, all of the green check marks, as you can see, are the same for both the enterprise edition and the community edition. So you do get access to apps, to action center, task capture, computer vision, document understanding, data service orchestrator. And in fact, I left out one of the newest features, which is automation ops. You also get access to that. Now, some of these features are metered features, meaning that, for example, the data service, you get a certain amount of storage. And you do get more with the paid enterprise edition or the, even the trial of the enterprise edition than you do get with the free community edition. And the same with computer vision and document understanding. You simply get less processing capacity for those features. But still, you can get a long way with no money. So all in all, this is a really good offering. As far as support goes, well, there's a reason why it's called the community edition, because you rely on the forums and the UiPath community if you need support. With the enterprise edition, you get access to UiPath's 24-7 uh, support, and you just don't get that with the free edition, and that's understandable. 
there are some other limitations with the community edition that you need to be aware of and you need to read up on before embarking on a serious adventure with the community edition. For example, if UiPath detects that you do not use your product, if your platform sits idle without being used for three months, they can actually delete all of your data and all of your stuff. So be aware of that. If you want to use the community edition, make sure you use it. Don't just let it sit and rot, uh, so to speak. And over on the right, we have the Enterprise Edition. And I have listed what you get with the 60-day trial of the Enterprise Edition. You get more of everything, basically. You can use the Community Edition if you are a larger enterprise, but only as an evaluation tool. You cannot use it in production. You can only use it for a limited time. Then you need to decide whether or not you want to buy the Enterprise License. With the Enterprise Edition 60-day trial, you get all of the features that you would get with a paid Enterprise Solution. And you need to be aware that all of the robots, the attended, unattended testing and AI robots, those are paid for by the count. So if you want five attended robots and five unattended robots, you pay a certain license fee times however many robots you want. So I hope this gives you a quick overview of what you get with the free community edition. It doesn't make sense for me to sit here and talk about prices because even though there are list prices for each of the robots and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure they are negotiable depending on how many licenses you buy and what kind of time frame you're talking about. But starting out with a free community edition is definitely a good option for many small companies. So in an upcoming video, I'm going to go through all of the products that are in the UiPath platform. Now I'm going to try to limit that video to maybe about 10 minutes, but I'll try to mention each of the products that are in each of the five or six phases of the RPA lifecycle according to UiPath. That will be coming out in a few days, so make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss that video. So this was a little, uh, you know, less technical than I like to do it, but this was something that I had been wondering myself for quite a while. I really hope you can use this, and if you have any questions or comments, maybe I got something wrong, leave it in the comments below, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye.